What's going on guys, welcome to the video. We are going to take a look at some clips from last night's Question Time relating to the Prince of Wokeness and his wife, of course meaning Harry and Meghan. This is something I did not want to cover because quite frankly I don't care and neither should anyone else. These two are completely irrelevant to the country. He will never be king and Meghan has joined the royal family to become a princess and now doesn't want to be a princess or wants to be a kind of princess when it suits her. Either way, it seems a bit stupid to me. Except of course, when you factor in the money they can make with their little schemes should they succeed. Fair play to them, I don't really care. Make hay when the sun shines as they say. I really couldn't care less providing we ain't paying for them. Then of course, I have an issue with it, as should everyone else. If they want out, they want out of our money also. Well, during the show, we had the usual nonsense that we hear daily from these people who claim criticising Meghan is racist. This nonsense came not only from Labour peer Baroness Shamri Chakrabarti, but also from an audience member who is quickly destroyed by Lawrence Fox, who I had actually never heard about before this because I do not watch TV shows outside of watching the absolute mind-melting garbage that I watch for this channel. But I have to say, I am now a fan of this guy, though I probably still won't watch his shows. He instantly destroys the claims of racism before a so-called person of colour, as Meghan would say, calls out Meghan, Harry and these shit weasels for the non-stop claims of racism whenever anyone calls them out for taking the piss. Like Harry and Meghan seem to do a lot, with their utter hypocrisy, that like I said a moment ago, I have never cared about, because they are irrelevant, like most of the other royals. I mean, Andrew, for instance, is only in the spotlight now, because of his old chum, and the ridiculous car crash interview, that reminded everyone, Pizza Express existed, and of course, proved to the world, what an out of touch mong, Andrew actually is. Now, during this segment on Question Time, Lawrence Fox brings up the Manchester scandal that has recently serviced, but the politicians are remarkably silent about this. Surprise, surprise. So let's check out the first clip. Let's take our second question now, which is from Robin Ashton. There you are. <coughs> Should the Sussexes profit <laughs> from their royal status? The Sussexes, Harry and Meghan, should they profit from their royal status? Is that what you think they're doing? Or that they may end up doing? I think what they may well end up doing, most likely, let's be honest. Um, we've already seen them trademark the Sussex name. Um, and I think it's highly unlikely that they won't continue to um, carry on this trend. Yeah. Lawrence, what's your view on it all? Make Sussex it. Royal. Mm. Um, I feel sorry for them, in a way. Um, but I, because it's difficult when you've got a new baby and all of that, and, it, and, it's, and it's hard. But I just have this feeling that, shouldn't they? Surely Harry must have had a chat to Meghan at some point and said, by the way, darling, this is going to be misery and you don't have to marry me if you don't want to. <laughs> and then, well, maybe they did. Yeah, maybe they did. But then, you know, and then you want to you hop out. It's like, well, you know, can we have the cottage back and your HRHs? Well, there's not much to say on that one. The question about them making money is obviously a given. That is the reason they are doing it. Maybe she thought princesses got given more money than they actually do and realised they can make a lot of money in the States with their titles and name. Lawrence is spot on that we should have our cottage back, but I'm not sure having a new baby has anything to do with this. If I had their money and staff, having a new baby would be a piece of piss. We don't have none of that. Very few have any help with childcare like the royals will. So no, Lawrence, a new baby for them is not going to be the same as most people having a new baby that you might know in your actual life. Harry is the prince and Meghan is his wife, not some lowly peasant like us. Maybe Lawrence was just trying to be nice there because I'm sure he knows they will have staff helping him to do a lot of things, so the baby thing is kind of irrelevant. But as for what he said about Harry telling Meghan what the UK press can be like, I'm sure he did that, and she said, oh, it's okay, I can deal with it. And to be honest, I expect she can deal with it. Hollywood is not exactly jazz hands at the Labour conference, is it? It's a cutthroat business. I think she is using the press bullshit to push their bid to break free and make bank in the private world. She is not stupid and simply wants to make more money. 
as I'm sure most people do. But let's move on, there is a fair few clips to go, and the race card is about to be played. Okay, yes, you, the woman there, stuck your hand right up. Uh, the problem we've got with this is that Meghan has agreed to be Harry's wife, and then the press have <laughs> torn her to pieces. <laughs> and Let's be really clear about what this is. Let's call it by its name. It's racism. She's a black woman and she has been it's torn not racism. to pieces. You can't she just... has been torn to pieces. It's not racism. It absolutely no, it's is. Not. We're the most tolerant, lovely country uh, uh, in Europe. Let's it says a celebrate white our women. It's not man. racism. It's so easy to throw the charge of racism at everybody, and it's really starting what to get boring. What worries me about your comment is, you are a white privileged male who has oh, no experience oh. in life. I mean, can I just... I can't I, help what I am. I was born like this. It's an immutable so you, characteristic. So, so to call cannot, me a white privileged male is to be racist. Unfortunately. You're being racist. You cannot dismiss. OK, OK. I just... I just <laughs> I'm not taking a view either way. I'll just... Add in that Pretty Patel, the Home Secretary, uh, also took the view that it wasn't racism. I'm not making a, a judgment on that uh, either way. Well, guys, it did not take long for the race card to come up yet again. We all knew it would because it's 2020 and it always does. I have never heard anyone be racist towards this woman since I knew she existed. And to be honest, I didn't even know Meghan was mixed race until I heard outraged Vince, like this audience member, say she was. And that, as usual, anyone who criticises her is racist scumbag. That is only shit-talking her because she is black. I mean, I personally had a conversation with a Jamaican cab driver just the other day when this Meghan and Harry nonsense was being discussed on the radio. And someone who had called up the show called people racist for criticising Meghan. Now, this guy whose grandparents were born in Jamaica called the woman who said it a dumb cunt because people like her will diminish the meaning of the word by calling everyone racist when they are clearly not. He himself said it will make people care less when someone is actually racist, because they are sick of the constant false claims that are going around. The boy who cried wolf is now the woke loser who cries racist for everything they don't like. I mean, you hear the audience moan out loud when they hear her claims it's racism. So I would suggest a lot of people around the country are starting to get sick of hearing the constant false accusations. I know I am, and so is Lawrence Fox, who instantly calls her out for talking shit, when I would guarantee not one politician would bother to step in and say a word against her. They would just sit there like sheep to the woke nonsense we see too much in this day and age. Because, of course, they're a bunch of cowards. When he points out this country is the most welcoming country in the EU, we all know that is true. To be honest with you, it's probably too welcoming. She instantly tries to dismiss his opinion because he is a white man, with privilege she claims. And I have to say, what a piece of shit she really is. And I'm glad he calls her out for what she is, a racist piece of shit. Funny how the people who scream racism are often the ones who are actually racist. I'm glad the audience applauding him, calling her a racist, shut her down like the snivelling shit weasel that she is. But let's continue. Up next is the Labour peer, Baroness Chamri Chakrabarti, who it's claimed whitewashed the anti-Semitism allegations within the Labour Party, funded a girls-only initiative to get them into uni, which is surely sexist, and like Diane Abbott, shit talks private schools, even though she sent her own son to one. In true levels of hypocrisy, Meghan and the Prince of Wokeness would be proud of. Uh, Shami, what's, what's your take on this? Um, <clears throat> I think that you've got to walk around in someone else's shoes. Now, I know that to be royalty is not to be um, the worst off person in the country or on the planet, but I still try to walk around in someone else's shoes. And I do think that some of the things that are being said are pretty harsh. And I would never say that because you're a, you know, because you're a white man, you don't have a perspective, but I would ask you to consider the perspective of anybody who, who's had a different experience. And I, and I know that Britain is a wonderful country and I, yeah. I'm second to no one in my love of my country, but it is, you know, loving your country doesn't mean that you say there is no racism in the country and there are no issues in the press. What? And I get, forgive me, and, and I think in this city, perhaps more than anywhere else in this country, 
you know about abuses by parts of the press. And I, I yeah. And, and if, we, look, if we want to be specific and look at evidence, I, I looked at a piece, I think it was in BuzzFeed today, where oh, there was a very, to, yes. very forensic comparison. So she thinks things being said about Harry and Meghan are a bit harsh. Like that is actually something people should care about. People shit talk me and a million other people every day. Who cares? The media shit talks everyone just to make money. They are the clickbait kings and have been for years. Everyone knows that for a fact. But at least she says she would not say his opinion is not valid because he is a white man. But then still kind of makes out because he is white you might not see all racism. Which you knew was always going to come out of her mouth. The colour of your skin does not stop you from seeing and knowing when something is racist or not, you idiot. We are not talking about that person's opinion on their own lives here, for it to even matter if they have personally experienced racism or not, because we are talking about the evidence for racism against Meghan Markle, which no one has been able to actually produce yet. Someone show me a media outlet or politician that has made a derogatory statement about Meghan based on her race rather than the hypocrisy they are both known for. I would bet they can't find one because it's not happened. So I'm sorry other people's previous experience of racism is completely irrelevant, Shammy. The owner should be prove the claims or shut the fuck up. It's pretty simple, really. But she then continues to go on and claim someone said there is no racism in the country, when as you all heard, no one said that. They said it's not because of Meghan's race that people think she is a cunt. It's because she acts like a cunt. A bit like Shammy here. She could be a perfectly fine human being, but instead acts like a shit weasel, so we will all call her one. People say it how they see it, and these lunatics obviously don't like it, so they will instantly call you Hitler. And in that clip, she finished up quoting BuzzFeed, which is about as reliable as The Guardian or Independent, so we didn't need to hear that shit about newspapers sensationalising headlines. We already went over them being the clickbait kings of the world. But let's move on to our next clip where Lawrence points out the way racism is thrown around these days is dangerous and creates situations like we found out about in Manchester recently, where police let sick fucks go because they didn't want to be called racist by people who think like Shammy and the woman from the audience. Lawrence, did you want to come back in for a go? Yeah, I, just, I, I think that it's one of the dangerous things about throwing racism around in this country, which we're doing a lot at the moment, is people become so conscious of it that things like the Manchester uh, grooming scandal get ignored. So that, you know, we need to be careful that we need to call out racism when it's seen, when it's obvious and when it's there, and we should stand together to condemn it. But for fear of sounding racist, there's been a horrific things have happened in Manchester and in towns all over the north of England, and we should be careful and use racism when, when it's there and it's obvious and not a, a call someone racist just because they don't agree with you. Question. I mean, you, know, when you know, it is about time someone brought up a real issue on Question Time, and Lawrence has done it here. The Manchester grooming scandal was allowed to continue because people like these lunatics run around calling everyone racist, thereby giving the police an excuse to do nothing in the face of overwhelming evidence that these sick fucks are preying on young girls. If the police treated it as a crime and did not consider their race or religion, then a lot of these victims would never have become victims, and these people would have been put in prison long ago. Instead, the police have to worry about being called racist for arresting members of a community that are preying on children, or having to cut back on stop and searching people in London because it's racist all of a sudden. When I remember being stop and searched on a daily basis in London as a kid, it was more racist than it ever was racist from what we all see. It didn't matter what racist might have been with you or what race you was. If the police see a teenager or group of them, they would nearly always stop them to see what you had on you. Then all of a sudden, it became racist and Sadiq Khan stopped it. Knife crime rose, the police did nothing in Manchester and these people continued to prey on young girls, making the powers that be in the police and above them an utter disgrace. I don't know if it was just me that noticed it, but when Lawrence is talking to the camera about Manchester, the camera pans to a shot where you can see Shammy giving what looks to be a dirty look, and even appears to shake her head at him. 
is she actually for real? What an absolute cunt she is. But Lawrence is bang on the money with what he is saying there. And he is a legend for bringing up the shameful acts in Manchester and other towns around the country on national television. Because not one of the politicians has bothered to say anything about it as of yet. And nor will they. The audience rightly applaud him for his common sense approach to life, unlike most on the panel, if you ask me. But let's move on, we'll check out our final clip. Fergie got ten times worse press than Meghan's ever, ever had. Fergie? And as so- yeah, and as soon as the press say boo to Meghan, I feel she pulls the racist card. Now, I'm, as she says, a woman of colour, and I feel she pulls the racist card every time. When, some, when there's something she doesn't like, she's straight off with, it's racist. Mm. I'm not sure she's personally has ever said that, but other people have said that for her. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, and, and, and Harry's mentioned it, I think. The... Now, you heard this woman say Meghan would call her a person of colour. So Shammy and the first audience member cannot say shit about her opinions on it. Though, I'm sure they would if they was given the time. She knows the racism claim is complete nonsense. The only people concerned with Meghan's race are the woke lunatics who are running around screaming about racism towards her when in actual fact people just think she's a whiny cunt. Because she comes across like a whiny cunt. Surprise, surprise. And no Fiona Bruce. It's not just everyone else and Prince Harry who are saying it. I'm sure her and her group of friends jumped on the bandwagon hoping that would make people stop pointing out her absolute bullshit. But we all know it won't. She will just turn those who might have liked her against her. I personally never had a problem with her. I didn't know who she was or even remotely care until I heard her preaching to everyone on how to live their life, while openly doing the complete opposite herself. Then I just thought to myself, she's a bit of a bitch, but that is nothing more than I expect from celebrities these days. So I still don't care about it, and never will. Because she's the Prince of Wokeness' wife, making her his problem, not mine. What I do have a problem with, is shit weasels like the audience and panel members, who claim everything is racist, to try and shut down the debate. They are nothing more than pathetic tosspots at the end of the day. I only actually covered this part of question time, because of the efficient way that Lawrence dismantled the woke narrative, that criticising Meghan Markle is like being part of the KKK or some shit. Of course, the Labour Party peer was neck deep in the bullshit with the audience member. Because of course, wokeness is life for these insufferable fuck pigs. I expect I will be doing another video on a different part of this question time, but I thought I should cover this segment first, for obviously Lawrence destroying them, and to bring light to the Manchester grooming scandal. But on that note, I am going to end the video there. Before I go, I am doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. So if you want to come and chat with me in real time on one of my streams, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to support me over there because you are a legend, the link to subscribe is down in the video description and as a pinned comment below. I hope to see you all there for more shenanigans. As always, I want to thank our YouTube, PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, Colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!